All right, let's set the record straight. From day one, there's been this buzzing anticipation that XRP hitting a monumental $10,000 was not just a possibility, but a certainty. And guess what? That prediction just got a turbo boost. We're talking about none other than Larry Fink from BlackRock putting his weight behind this. Picture this. He's not just talking about a measly $10,000 per XRP. Oh no, he's pointing to it as a fundamental necessity. Hello, Moneyside family. Welcome back to your go-to hub for all things XRP. Before we jump into the heart of today's content, let's quickly touch base. I need a small favor from you. Go ahead and smash that like button, hit subscribe, and ring that notification bell to join our amazing community. And here's a little heads up. We're revving up for an incredible XRP giveaway as we approach the 60,000 subscriber mark. Getting involved in the giveaway is a breeze. Just follow three simple steps. So, make sure you're tuned in and ready. Also, don't forget to leave a hashtag MoneySide in the comments to secure your spot in the giveaway. Here's where it gets juicy. Imagine heavyweights like BlackRock and Vanguard, these titans of finance, now seriously considering XRP for their international transactions. And hold on, it gets better. We're hearing whispers about BlackRock launching an XRP-focused ETF. Yes, you heard that right. But wait there's more. Larry Fink didn't stop there. He's looking at the colossal $30 trillion real estate market, and guess what's at the heart of its future? You got it. The XRP ledger, ready to tokenize the whole shebang. And with a staggering $1.2 quadrillion from the ISDA, the International Swaps and Traders Association, set to flow through the XRP ledger and RippleNet. We're not just talking about $10,000 per XRP. That's kids' play. We're potentially looking at a skyrocketing value of up to $60,000 per XRP. Mind-blowing, right? Now let's dive into the next segment. Larry Fink from BlackRock dropped another bombshell. He's not just talking, he's acting. Ripple and its digital asset XRP are on the brink of something huge, tokenizing everything. And in the next part of our video, we've got a clip that's going to turn heads. Larry Fink himself confirming BlackRock's move towards an XRP ETF. So let's not wait any longer. Here's the clip you've been waiting for. Advent of Bitcoin ETFs is an example that we're legitimizing it. We're creating more safety. Well, let me ask you this. Will you do another ETF? How about an XRP ETF? I know you've got e the ether out there. I, we, How about XRP? Can we, you answer that? I can't. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't want me to. I do. Well, I can't. <laughs> All right. They're giving me the wrap. Thank you. In recent days, we've witnessed a whirlwind of anomalies in the crypto world, particularly with XRP. Picture this. On the globally renowned exchange, Crypto.com, XRP's value shot up, hitting an astonishing $43,000. This isn't just a one-off event. It's part of a growing trend of XRP's value surging unexpectedly. Remember how we discussed a $7,000 XRP glitch at a leading exchange just last week? Well, now it's Crypto.com turn, and it seems like these sudden spikes in XRP's value are becoming a regular occurrence across various exchanges. But let's pivot to something different, something I unearthed from deep research that's equally fascinating, yet unrelated to BlackRock or the overall XRP market surge. We're diving into a topic involving Gary Gensler, the well-known SEC chairman who succeeded Jake Clinton. As most of you might know, Gensler consistently categorizes XRP as a security. Here's where it gets intriguing. Gary Gensler has an identical twin brother, Robert M. Gensler, who is the same age and shares an uncanny resemblance. Robert is a key figure at T. Rowe Price, serving as its vice president. Now, when you dig a little deeper, you'll find that T. Rowe Price isn't just any investment firm. It's one of the major players investing heavily in Bitcoin, Ethereum, and yes, XRP. So, there's a curious connection here. While Gary Gensler, at the helm of the SEC, continues to label XRP as a security, his twin brother is deeply involved in an investment firm that is a significant investor in XRP, among other cryptocurrencies. It's a fascinating juxtaposition that raises quite a few questions about the intricate dynamics at play in the world of cryptocurrency regulations and investments. This brings us to a tantalizing possibility. Could Robert Gensler, the vice president of T. Rowe Price, have exclusive insights about XRP? XRP's potential, akin to that of Bitcoin and Ethereum. This theory gains traction when you consider the firm's significant investments in these three cryptocurrencies. While the SEC publicly dismisses any notion of insider trading, Numerous reports and investigations have suggested otherwise. These investigations, focusing on market manipulation and insider trading, have repeatedly pointed out questionable practices within the SEC, 
It appears that a pattern is emerging. SEC officials seem to be tipping off their relatives about which digital assets might soon be cleared of being labeled as securities. These relatives then invest early, and when the asset is officially declared non-security, its value skyrockets, allowing these family members and friends to profit handsomely from buying low and selling high. In this context, let's consider the possibility that Robert N. Gensler may have received insider information from his brother, Gary Gensler, regarding the SEC's potential loss in a lawsuit against XRP. Such information could imply that Congress might push for a settlement between Ripple Labs and the SEC, making it a prime time for savvy investors to get in on XRP. But watching T. Rowe Price increasingly channel funds into Bitcoin, Ethereum, and notably XRP adds another layer to this narrative. While the crypto community buzzes about XRP potentially reaching staggering heights, $10,000, $20,000, or even $60,000, notably, analysts who have been bullish on XRP, like Jack the Rippler, predict an explosive rise in its value, potentially surpassing $589. This prediction, while bold, underscores the growing excitement and speculation around XRP and its potential in the cryptocurrency market. Wall Street is eyeing a piece of the lucrative XRP pie, and my hunch? The first big play will be through an XRP ETF. But let's dive deeper, beyond just the surface of this development. We've got some intriguing news from Crypto Basic. An analyst is suggesting that JP Morgan has taken a significant leap into XRP, and this has caught the attention of a former Ripple director. This revelation certainly raised my eyebrows, and it's something we need to unpack. The story goes like this. Ben Armstrong, previously associated with the BitBoy crypto brand, reignited some controversial claims about JP Morgan's alleged investment in XRP, sparking a reaction from an ex-Ripple director. Armstrong, a notable figure in the crypto sphere, revealed this in a string of posts. He suggests that JP Morgan has acquired a hefty 7.5 million XRP tokens. Now, Armstrong goes on to claim that this move represents about 7.5% of JP Morgan's total wealth. But hold on, because the math here seems way off. To put it in perspective, 7.5 million XRP at its current value of 4.46 million doesn't even come close to 7.5% of JP Morgan's wealth, considering JP Morgan's total assets are a whopping 3.89 trillion dollars as of their 2023 valuation. Armstrong's calculation doesn't quite add up. Despite this, Armstrong emphasizes the significance of JP Morgan's supposed strategy, suggesting they're quietly stockpiling XRP. According to him, this positions JP Morgan as an emerging powerhouse in the cryptocurrency world. So we've got a narrative of Wall Street giants like JP Morgan potentially making moves in the crypto scene, specifically with XRP. And while the calculations might be a bit sketchy, the idea of major financial institutions delving into crypto isn't something to be overlooked. It points to a larger trend of traditional finance intersecting with the digital currency space, with XRP at the center of some fascinating developments. Armstrong's bold statements have also cast a spotlight on BlackRock, the titan of asset management. He's stirring the pot with claims that BlackRock, fresh off the approval of its iShares Bitcoin ETF, is now eyeing XRP for its investment portfolio. Armstrong didn't stop there. He's also zooming in on the ongoing legal tussle between Ripple and the US SEC. His take? The fact that these financial juggernauts are diving into XRP, despite the ongoing legal saga, signals a solid belief in XRP's promising future. Imagine, if this trend of accumulation is indeed true, it would mean big league financial players are betting on on XRP amidst its regulatory roller coaster ride. So here's the thing, folks Wall Street's embrace of crypto was always on the horizon. I've been talking about this for over five years, and back then, it felt like a far off dream. But look at us now, with Bitcoin leading the way. Thinking XRP won't follow suit? I'd have to respectfully disagree. It's not a matter of if, but when. However, the specific scenario Armstrong's painting, that might not be the whole picture. But get this the plot thickens. Responding to Armstrong's explosive claims, Matt Hamilton, former Ripple director, threw in a heavy dose of skepticism. Doubting the legitimacy of such a purchase, he also questioned what impact it would actually have on XRP, given the token's vast supply. Then Hamilton brings out the calculator. If we're talking about 7.5 million XRP against the backdrop of 100 billion XRP in existence, we're looking at a mere 0.0075%. Hamilton even quipped, I'm guessing this is a parody account in response to Armstrong's claims. It's a cheeky nod to the often fantastical nature of Armstrong's statements, suggesting you'd almost need a satirical lens to make sense of them. All right, let's break down the math here because honestly, it speaks for itself. Hamilton nailed the figures 
years, pointing out the glaring inaccuracies in the original claim. It's clear as day, the numbers just don't add up. But this got me thinking, where did this wild story even originate? Well folks, I did some digging and hit the jackpot. I found the source, and it's a doozy. So there you have it. In the complex and often murky world of crypto reporting, it's crucial to stay sharp and discerning. As always, I'm here to help you navigate these choppy waters with the real scoop. Please remember, I am not a licensed financial advisor. The content presented in these videos is purely for entertainment purposes. I always encourage viewers to conduct their own research research, and consult with professionals before making any financial decisions. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, make sure you turn on the notifications to be the first to know when I release new content. I'm excited to catch up with you in the upcoming video. Take care.